the next one. Today, from St. John's, Newfoundland to Hamilton, Ontario, we will show you Canada's best novice and junior skaters, skating for the chance of a lifetime, building blocks to the senior ranks, and maybe a personal best. The future of Canadian skating, next on TSN. From Cops Coliseum in Hamilton, welcome to the 2002 Bank of Montreal Canadian Championships along with Debbie Wilkes. I'm Rod Black and every year at this time, Debbie, we gather around the Nationals to talk about the present and perhaps Olympics, but we also gather to talk about the future and those stars that we'll be talking about on the senior ranks in a few years' time. We're talking about the juniors for sure. We're also talking about the novices, pre-novices and juveniles that are coming up. Important to remember that although the household names, generally speaking, come from the senior ranks, they all started here. And now that Skate Canada has separated the junior and senior Canadian competitors from another event that happens, we call it the Baby Nationals from St. John's, Newfoundland, uh, the competitions have been broken up a little bit. So all of the skaters, even the very young ones, are getting a chance to shine in their very own events. I don't think we can uh, also discount the importance of the creation of the Junior Grand Prix Series. Uh, an opportunity for every skater, however old, if you make it to the top of your ranks in your particular event, you're off overseas, you're going everywhere representing the country. What a tremendous growth experience. Yeah, sometimes uh, these divisions were taken as afterthoughts in the past, but this is big stuff now. The kids all know it too. They know they've got to produce. It gives them a chance to be consistent, to push forward, to look at their heroes and try to take over those spots. So today, uh, look ahead to the future stars of Canadian skating. We begin in St. John's, Newfoundland. Hometown skaters, Caitlin Greening, Ryan Sutherland. They were the novice pair's silver medalists. Opening with a triple twist. The most difficult elements finding their way down the ladder, even into the novice event. A sign of tremendous growth and development. Caitlin is 13 years old, Ryan is 18, winning the silver medal in novice pairs, and I don't think there was a more excited tandem at this event than this team right here. What a thrill to get to the podium and skate in front of family and friends. Newfoundland's own, Greening and Sutherland. And a thrill for the team to skate in Ryan's hometown of St. John. Second place. Short program and free skate behind the champions. I'm Jessica Bay. I'm 14 years old. I train in Drummondville, Quebec. 
I'm Samuel Tetro. I'm from Iberville. First time we just do some stroking, side by side jam, and it was very good. So we decided to prepare. And here is the team that won gold in St. John's Newfoundland in novice pairs. This is Jessica Dubé and Samuel Tetro. the second season together for this bright young team, both outstanding single skaters competing at the national level. the 2002 Novice Pair Champions of Canada. We were backstage and I was watching and I said, Jess, we won! And <laughs> we're very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they're both uh, very talented skaters. Jessica is a hard worker and she's very uh, perfectionist. Samuel is uh, a good pair guy. He's very nice with his partner. A lot of fun to work with them. A lot of fun when you win, too. Proud coaches, proud champions, Jessica Dubé, Samuel Tetro. We will watch Jessica a little later in the program, also a competitor in the Novice Ladies event. And here are the rest of the names competing in the Novice Pairs in St. John's, Newfoundland. And now to the Novice Men. One of the stars of the show, this young man, Maxim Billy Fortin. 15-year-old who was born in Haiti, now lives in Stoneham, Quebec. 
and has a lot of talent, Debbie Wilkes. A sparkler on the ice. Totally enjoying the chance to be out there and the chance to perform. It's one thing to have the jumps, it's quite another to be able to have the flair and the musicality. He has both. Interestingly enough, you can learn how to jump. I don't think you can learn how to do that. He won the short program, finished second in the free skate. And remember, you're watching novice competition. In the men, they're doing triple, triple combinations. How about that? You'll be seeing more of this guy in the future. Maxime Billy Fortin won the silver medal. Well, the music is a violin concerto by Tchaikovsky, and I chose music myself because I love classical music, and uh, I am a violinist, but it's more of a, I have more of a balletic style, I guess. His name is Eric Radford. His last day as a 16-year-old was on this day. St. John's Newfoundland novice men's competition was third after the short program.
some strong classical lines, violin player, balletic, and now the novice men's champion of Canada, Eric Radford. I was thinking that I need to do it for myself and not to worry about all the other skaters and just to stay calm and go out there and do my best and whatever happens, happens. I found out I was a champion after the second last skater I had skated and I knew I won and I just went up and I hugged my mom and I said I did it. Medal ceremony was held at midnight, which meant that he had celebrated an early birthday present. Happy 17th birthday. Eric Radford, gold medal. Maxim Billy Fortan, the silver medal. Boy, some talented young men coming up in the novice ranks in our country. We'll come back to St. John's, Newfoundland, continue with the novice championships on TS. John's, Newfoundland, where the novice skaters competing for Canadian titles. Later, we'll go to Cops Coliseum in Hamilton for the junior events. And of course, once you win a novice title, you move to the junior ranks. That's where Jessica Dubé will move next year. She won the Pairs Championship. As we saw earlier in the program, she also competed in the singles. Competing in more than one event requires some real organizational ability, juggling training for both singles and pairs. after the short program but had the best free skate of the day she ended up with a silver medal behind champion Stephanie Tremblay I'm from Laval in Quebec and I'm training in Boucherville and I'm going to school too in Boucherville I've always wanted to choose a tango for my two program and, and this year I chose it Stephanie was the leader after the short program. 15-year-old. Had the second best free skate and ended up as the Canadian Novice Ladies Champion.
was nervous. I was so nervous. My, my coach, he says to me always, do it like you do in practice. And I had no idea I was first. My coach said to me, hey, you're champion, you're champion. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I'm so happy. I, I didn't expect it. Congratulations to Stephanie Tremblay. Novice ladies champion, Jessica Dubé, gold medal in pairs, silver medal in singles. Bright star on the horizon and a look at the other skaters competing in the novice ranks in St. John's, Newfoundland. And now to dance. On the ice, 14-year-old Alice Graham and 16-year-old Eric Newman Obichon. This team, the novice dance champions of Canada. This team, a wonderful example of when it works, it really works. They've only been together competing since the fall of 2000. And when they started, Alice had never skated dance before. fluidity that flows between both bodies here. There's a real sense, there's amazing control, very good technical skating. Very good skate, very good result. Dance champions of Canada. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. 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 second marks came out we didn't even look at the bottom marks for the presentation we just saw the ranking go number one and then we both jumped up really high and started screeching and it was it was awesome indeed awesome they came from second after the compulsories and won the free dance gold medalists in novice dance a bright future ahead each of these competitors at these levels qualifying through 13 sectional competitions across the country. And next year they move to the junior ranks and that's where we'll move next to Hamilton for the Canadian Junior Championships on TSN. For Bull Sunday Sports Center coming up later, Corey Warren standing by. And for these skaters, this is their Super Bowl. The Junior National Championships on Senior Ice, Cops Coliseum. And we begin with the pairs. 
The junior pairs, bronze medalists, Kathy Monet and Danielle Castello. into the next division from novice to junior requires extra time on the ice. The junior pair is skating for four minutes in the free program. We should also tell you that it is not based on age, novice and junior skating. Kathy is 15, Danielle is 21. It is based on development. And test qualifications. Generally speaking, to compete junior, you must have passed the junior competitive test, and so on. The same for senior. moments of their free skate. Monette and Costello were eighth as juniors last year. Third this time around. They made it to the podium. Now to the silver medalists. Mirren Tremblay, Jesse Sturdy. Great story here. Mirren is actually trying to obtain a visa so she can stay in Canada. She's from Peru, New York. These two found each other on the internet. That's a sign of the new millennium, isn't it? You just click pair search and you find a partner? Is that how it works? I'm gonna find her. Cricket Club with Paul Wirtz. You know the name, of course, because of Christy and Chris Wirtz, former national senior pair champions, who also helped with this team's coaching. As a matter of fact, Mirren is wearing one of Christy's dresses. together for a tryout next thing you know you become silver junior pairs medalists in Canada the cyber team Tremblay and Sturdy the junior pairs champions are next on TSN don't think too much about any of the elements out there just go out and take one element at a time and stay calm and into the ice and just enjoy yourself here are the junior pairs champions. Carla Montgomery, Ryan Arnold. This is a bright, bright team for the future. Leaders after the short program, leaders after the free skate.
the Mariposa School in Barrie, coached by Lee Bartell. This team has already competed on the Junior Grand Prix circuit. A fourth place finish in the Junior Grand Prix final. They also won the Japan Open. Yeah, and Got Carla, a little adventurous. Absolutely. They had a bad fall. Carla cut her chin during the long program but kept on skating. Only to find out at the end that she needed 20 stitches. That's the toughness that goes with pair skating. that only a choreographer with lots of dance experience could do. Kelly Johnson has worked with this team. Kelly, a former national senior dance medalist. The junior pairs champions, Carla Montgomery and Ryan Arnold. And there they are, the podium finishers. Good skate on the big ice for all in Hamilton. And those three medal winning teams become part of Canada's national team. Congratulations to everyone. When we come back, we will take a look at the top three in the junior men on TSN. Junior Championships held at the Senior Championships. Cops Coliseum, the site, and on the ice, Christopher Maybe. A few years ago, Chris Maybe finished second as a novice. The next year, leapt to the junior ranks and finished fourth, and then has run into some injury problems. He was the bronze medalist for the junior men this time around.
Chris's home is in Tilsonburg, Ontario, but he's training and living now in Barrie, working at the Mariposa Club. Terrific triple-triple combination. What a talented skater. best about Christopher maybe looks like he just loves to skate no matter the finish loves to be on the ice bronze medalist and now the runner-up to the champion this is Keegan Murphy 16-year-old who underwent a huge growth spurt from last year to this year. At this age, the development of the body becomes such a crucial factor. Many of these young people have been landing triple jumps from a very early age, 11 or 12. They suffer through the growth spurt often the triple jumps disappear very vulnerable age for competitors from Squamish, B.C., trains at the Burnaby Eight Rinks, where Emmanuel Sandu trains and actually gets some help from Emmanuel's coach from time to time. Joanne McLeod helps out, but Keegan's major coach is his mom, Eileen. skates of the week how good was it Keegan Murphy went from fifth after the short program to a silver medal second in the free skate winning combination of technique and personality isn't that great Five do zero, what you want to do and you seven, share it with your mom. Five zero, four nine, we'll have the junior four champion eight, after this. Four nine, four eight, four eight, four nine. I was skating to here in Hamilton is for Elise with techno. It's myself. Like it's really something that suits my personality out there on the ice. Here is Sean Sawyer. Junior Men's Champion of Canada. This kid has it all. And you talk about the music. He got this music off the internet. This is becoming a serious part of our life, isn't it? Sean's home is Edmonston. 
in New Brunswick. His training site is Ottawa. It was in 1998 when Canada's world champion Brian Orser sort of took me aside one day and said, you've got to look at this kid, Sean Sawyer. One day he is going to be famous. Looks like Brian's predictions are coming true. Not the biggest guy in the world, but he does have big jumps. Jumps, I think, his favorite part of skating. Incredible flexibility. Sean has something else that skaters need today to add that extra bit of magic. He's an inventor. He loves creating new spins. Every jump, my favorite, every movement, every spin. I love every single aspect of the sport. I really love being out there and everybody's watching me. I, I like to play with the crowd and make them happy as I am inside. Well, even happier with a gold medal around your neck. Sean Sawyer was the novice champion in 2000. He is the junior champion in 2002. Does that mean two years from now he'll be the senior champion? Stay tuned. The new wave is here. It is. Congratulations to all of the junior men. Talented, talented ranks. Top to bottom. Coming up we will have the women from the Junior Nationals again and on TSN next weekend Salt Lake City to site and isn't the skating tournament going to be something else as we welcome you back to the Junior Championships of Canada some future Olympians the bronze medalists in the Junior Women's ranks here is Signe Ronka
pre-novice, novice, and junior competitors. They must qualify for nationals, not only through sectionals, but through a divisional event, either in Eastern or Western Canada. Sini won hers. And won the bronze medal in Hamilton. Now the silver medalist. This is one of the younger competitors. Turned 14 a couple of days after the national championships. This is Cynthia Fenuth. I love the way Cynthia is packaged. At 13, I think it's a liability if you wear too much makeup, dressed with a more mature kind of style. She looks like a 13-year-old. It's refreshing. The only thing is, she doesn't skate like a normal 13-year-old. You got that. Very good young skater. Fourth after the short program. Finished second, won the silver medal. We'll have the champion when we come back to Hamilton. I was a little bit nervous, but I was really excited because it's like first time I've ever been first at a major competition after the short. So I was just, I really wanted to go out there and skate and skate my best. Her name is Lauren Wilson. Remember that name. She will be 15 years old in April. She is a grade nine student at Oak Ridge Secondary in London, Ontario. She is Canada's junior women's champion. These young competitors are all looking ahead. 
They've recognized from an early age, along with their coaches, that the triple lutz is the defining jump for senior women, soon to be the defining jump for juniors. What a remarkable step for this young woman, though. A year ago, as a junior, she was 19th. That's pretty impressive when you move 18 places in one year. Sign of good training, great coaching, tremendous support from her family, and real discipline on her part. Nicely done. The champion. I was so excited then. And when I ended, it was just like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. So I was really happy after that. And I looked up at the screen and I saw his first and just like, oh my gosh. So I was so happy. I don't know if women's skating in Canada had his future look any brighter based on what we saw in Hamilton. It's taken a while to happen. But it's there, all the way down, too, in novice and pre-novice and even juvenile competitors. And we'll see how it translates next year in Saskatoon at the Senior Nationals. When we come back, one more discipline. We have the dance on TSN. Super Bowl special, taking a look at the way the Rams beat up on the New England Patriots. Obviously, I'm taking the Rams. You sure about that? <laughs> And now to the junior dance competition. The bronze medalists. Sabrina Granada, Bradley Yeager. Sabrina's 15 from Embrun, Ontario. And Bradley is from Orleans, Ontario. He's 16. The teams made a training move this year from Ottawa to the Detroit Skating Club to train with their coach, Marina Zueva, alongside Igor Spielba.
dance in Canada, one of the deepest disciplines. Thanks to the legacy of Born and Kratz and others, the bronze medalists in the junior ranks, Granada Jaeger. The dance event in Hamilton, very, very close. The runner-up team, Lauren Flynn, Leif Gislason from Winnipeg. polish and ease between partners no matter how difficult the maneuver a kind of a heavenly quality about the presentation too the body language is exquisite dance champions last year they were third as juniors this year they were second they train in kitchener waterloo they hail from winnipeg lauren flynn leif gislason will have the champions after this the 2002 bank of montreal canadian junior championships on tsn brought to you by nabob better beans better coffee by mastercard there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. And buy Hershey Kisses. Little Hershey Kisses. Big chocolate taste. It was kind of interesting. Our first, our first tryout was that I just happened to have food poisoning that day. The night before, I had a hamburger that wasn't quite cooked enough. <laughs> I think I spent more time in the tryout with my head in the garbage pail than actually skating. But, yeah, uh, he didn't say a word to me that day. I had no idea if he liked me or not. It was just like skating and then running in the bathroom. <laughs> so that was our first experience together. So needless to say, we've uh, improved a little bit since that day. <laughs> well, we would say, uh, Mylene Girard and Brian Innes now are the Junior Dance Champions of Canada after that rather auspicious first tryout. They have become the best junior team in the country.
life of a competitive figure skater is anything but glamorous. Not only do these teams have to work for hours a day training the most minor moves, but for many skaters, and this team are two of them, it requires a relocation of home, making new friends, a lot of sacrifices to make it to the top. And also schooling. Brian goes to the University of Waterloo. Eileen goes to CCFD, a school for athletes, does her academic correspondence over the internet. A rather constant theme to this show. Some other names in dance that are also quite a common theme. Kelly Johnson is their choreographer. They're coached by David Islam in Barry. David, part of the new wave in the last several years. A brilliant coach who puts his touch on many wonderful dance teams. Junior Dance Champions of Canada, Girard and Ininis. I didn't really want to think about anything technical. I was telling Brian, let's have fun, let's dance, it's a show, it's our moment on the ice, so let's have fun. When we saw the results, we were just jumping and hugging each other, Brian and I and our yeah. coaches. We worked so hard all year and we've been, been through a lot together and to have all our coaches there and just it was, it was just such a great feeling with, with Milan and I and our coaches. It was, just, it was un undescribable in words. Far cry from that first tryout, huh? <laughs> That's the way it goes. A little hard work can go a long way. Read those names. Watch them down the road. We will see them for sure at the senior level. Of course, all of the junior champions must move up to senior if they continue to compete. Same for novice, everybody's got to jump up. And don't forget, Skate Canada International coming up in Quebec City. The Colisee in November, that kicks it off. The new skating season, and we'll see some of these faces next year too. For Debbie Wilkes, this is Rod Black. Goodbye, everybody.